morning y'all it is about 9 30 in the morning and i am waiting on an instacart order to come in i placed our monthly costco order this morning on instacart and i usually do not place big orders on instacart i've worked with instacart for many many years and like I know that people don't have the best experiences um, when they shop with Instacart, so I was very hesitant about placing such a big order on there, but I did it anyway because as you all know, I am about 30 weeks pregnant, and right now, like, I am not feeling the best, and I cannot physically walk around Costco to get this many items, so I decided to try it out. And typically, our grocery budget for the month is about $750. Y'all, tell me what y'all grocery budget is because there are four people in our family, five pending. So, <laughs> we have my husband, myself, my son who's 13, and my daughter who's two. And we spend about $750 a month in groceries. This Costco haul alone was $651, which I thought was like absolutely absurd. But, I mean, what are you going to do? You have to buy groceries. And I know that we live in Colorado, so the prices are, like, slightly higher than other places. But goodness gracious, a few years ago, people were paying $750 for rent money. So to spend that for groceries is absurd. But in this haul, I actually got, like, a lot of things that we typically don't get. I got a lot of snacks, a lot of frozen pre-made meals and things like that. Because if I do happen to go into labor early, I do want to have stuff that's easily accessible for my husband and my son. Um, things that they can just like pop in the oven or pop in the air fryer and things like that. So this haul is a little bit different than our typical haul. I did have quite a few things left over from last month like uh, frozen fruits and vegetables and a lot of frozen meats. So... This stuff will last us like probably about a month and a half, honestly, but just to be on the safe side so we always have um, an abundance of food and groceries, I typically um, spend about $7.50 a month. So yeah, um, this haul, I don't think I have any fresh produce in this haul. Um, maybe like one or two things maybe, but I like to buy my own produce because I do not like people to like put their hands on my produce I don't know like I don't want them touching it or like coughing on it even though I'm gonna wash it thoroughly I don't know I just like to pick out my own produce so I did save over like a hundred dollars to go throughout the month and buy our fresh um produce and things like that so yeah the order is supposed to be here at about 11 o'clock so when it gets here I will show you all everything that we got and like I said leave if that's not like TMI for you guys or like you feel like sharing, leave down in the comments below like the size of your family, the state that you live in, and what's your budget for the month. Because like I said, $750 is like a little much for me. But yeah, when everything gets here, I will show you all what we got. So when I went to go edit this portion of the video, it was in slow motion. So the haul is going to be a voiceover. So the first thing we got is this package of ground beef and also a four pack of ground turkey and two young chickens. These are things that we typically always buy, but these Ray Burns crafted sandwiches, they're like Philly cheesesteaks. This was my first time purchasing those. Also this macaroni and cheese as well. Um, we always get this red, white, and blue fruit mix and this Columbus rotisserie chicken lunch meat. But I also picked up these pot stickers as part of the things that are going in the freezer for my husband and my son. Then we had never tried these take and bake wings so I got a package of those. And then two of these Rana beef and short rib lasagnas. We've never tried this birria as well so we tried that and also these burnt ends. Um, these sandals were a replacement for my Uncrustables, but trust me, y'all, save your money. Um, I picked up these avocado cups, some cage-free eggs, and two packs of this Columbus Uncured Turkey Bacon, which is the best turkey bacon in the world. Also, we tried these Amy Lou chicken sausages. I picked up some Hebrew Nationals Beef Franks, two packages of cheese. One is Kobe Jack and one is Sharp Cheddar. Um, also some sour cream. These pickles are the best store-bought pickles, so if you see them in store, pick them up. 
I also got a rotisserie chicken. Um, these queso grain free puffs, they were okay. They weren't that great. Um, I got this for my husband's lunch. It's just a variety pack of beef jerky. Um, and then also some candy, the fruit thief, the fruit strips are really, really good. So I got a package of those. And then also two things of applesauce because everyone in my house likes applesauce. I purchased two packages of bread. One is going to be white hot dog buns and the other is uh, hamburger buns. Then we picked up these pure organic fruit bars that were on sale, some whole cashews, a big thing of organic cane sugar. It was a 10 pound bag. I also really like these Vietnamese pho noodles. I fix them up with a whole bunch of other things, but they're pretty, pretty good. Um, then two things of this cattle drive chili. One of these is gonna go in our pantry. We love that chili. Um, some peanut butter because we were all out and my husband likes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches albacore tuna because we eat that for the sabbath and then also some bouillon uh, better than bouillon because i needed that and then two seasonings both of them are kinders one is the the blend and the other one is the buttery steakhouse um also we always get this organic unsweetened almond milk it's a really great deal um these drumsticks were on sale that's why i picked those up and then I picked up two things of cereal because that was on sale as well. And my husband really enjoys Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I'm not really a cereal eater, but he is. And last but not least, we have our drinks. These are all of our favorite drinks. Um, we got some San Pellegrino, some 100% pineapple juice, which I love. These Fever Treat grapefruit sparkling drinks, I love those as well. And then a case of water and a case of Gatorade. Okay, y'all, so that is everything for this haul. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please let me know. Because honestly, I like to do grocery hauls and I like to watch other people's grocery hauls. So if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it on my channel, uh, leave it down in the comments below. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, y'all.